Hi, good morning. It's Michelle Hocko with Remax Real Estate Center. Day three of actually following through on doing some videos. So I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. Um, I am well into my day because I get up around five and I get going on my work for a lot of reasons, which some of which I'll share with you. Um, so this morning, I, there's this article floating around Facebook, and I'm sure a lot of you maybe have seen it already. And it's this uh, Narcity article talking about how universities in Ontario are tracking um, specific high schools. <laughs> Because apparently what's happening is that these uh, these high schools, the students are coming out with really what seem to be inflated, um, inflated marks, which are helping them get into um, universities, because obviously we know it's very competitive, you need to, you know, have those top grades in order to, to get into a lot of these schools. So basically, the University of Waterloo is one they were talking about. Is a, I want to say blacklisting because I'm sure it's not a blacklist, but they're they're sort of considering that any students who are coming forward from specific high schools um, are coming in possibly with inflated marks, um, as much as like 26% inflated was one of the was one of the things that they were seeing in the article, or that they were scoring 26% less than they would have expect um, than they would be expected to based on their high school grades. So uh, this is this is really interesting because I feel very passionately about <laughs> school rankings and standardized testing and all of these things. Um, now you know this is a big deal to people because when they're buying houses, often they're they're on the Fraser Institute and they're looking at school rankings. You know what's going to be the best school for my kid to be in. Certainly a huge priority for a lot of um, new immigrant families, and I can completely appreciate that. A lot of people are coming here for their kids to have great opportunities to get a really great um, education and uh, and make a success of their lives. So this is not a small matter, and um, please don't take this as me you know downplaying this in any way. I have certain opinions about it of course but um, but certainly we all come from different backgrounds with different priorities so how are we how are we tracking people in schools you know like in elementary school the big thing is you know like they do their standardized provincial test and and this is very stressful for the students it's stressful for the teachers I'm sure it's stressful for the school administrators and the principals um, and it gives you this sort of like baseline how are these schools doing compared to other schools but it's comparing um, it's comparing arbitrary marks in my opinion. So we're learning things in school um, that may or may not be relevant to our lives, right? So it, I know we've had like curriculum in place for years and, and some of it's good and, and quite frankly I know that the schools are doing a good job um, and for the most part you know the kids are coming out well adjusted um, with good information but how much how much are we putting an emphasis on these grades? I mean are there different things that are more important than grades in elementary school? Like what are the, what's the happiness measure? That's what I wanna see. I wanna see school rankings based on kids' happiness because I feel in this like under grade eight level, um, they, need to, they need to enjoy going to school. Um, I want to be more focused on what the, the school community is like, how happy are the children. Like, tell me about the rate of depression and anxiety in these schools. That's what I want to know about. But there's no school ranking for that that I've found yet. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So my question to you is, you know, how do you, how do you decide whether or not your kids are doing well at school? Are you, are you a grades parent? Um, are you an overall happiness parent? Um, I'd be really fascinated to know what people think of this. And, and have you purchased a home in a specific area based on school rankings? Because I know that this is, is a big deal. So I'm really curious to see how this will end, um, you know, over time with the, the universities tracking the specific schools. Um, and I have to say, I reviewed the list and none of the high schools in Milton made the list. So I guess that's a really good thing. We're not artificially inflating marks for students to help them have better opportunities in universities. So I guess that's good. Eh? Is that good? I don't know. Do kids, uh, do kids necessarily have all the skills they need to really be focused on um, on their grades and that be their priority in high school, like is the maturity level there for them to fully understand um, and appreciate or care about the, the full impact that that's gonna have on their life. Um, in high school, I think there's so many social factors and pressures that I don't know whether they don't need a bit of a leg up to help them move to the next step because we might have some much more focused university students. Um, Anyway, just my opinion. <laughs> I'm a bit of a hippie like that. Uh, but anyway, so that that's kind of all I have to say about that for this morning. I'd love your opinions. This is a you know this is a pretty important topic. So James Clark, 
I'm still doing video. Look, this is another one. I, this is like less than, well, more than 12 hours from the last one, but I think I'm doing pretty well. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and we'll see you again tomorrow.